guys, it's Sam, and I am going to be doing a get ready with me video. I just thought I would want to. I just thought that I would sit down and just talk about what's going on with me because there's some big changes going on, which you would have seen my. Um, I've mentioned this a couple times. I am moving to my own place, and it's just an exciting yet nervous time for me. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get ready because I have to go to. Um, I'm gonna think I'm gonna go to. I think I'm going to Target, Lowe's, and Macy's, and I have to go back to the apartment and measure uh, some things because we have to buy our wall unit uh, air conditioners. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna get ready for that. Nothing too uh, because I'm probably gonna end up sweating anyway. So nothing too much makeup wise. Uh, I haven't been putting on makeup the past couple of days just because I've been kind of moving we are moving very slowly we don't we're not in a situation where we have to rush out and I'm saying we me and my boyfriend are not either of us are not in a situation where we have to rush out of our current place we could stay here actually for as long as we like because it's our home um, and um, we're just moving slowly. So you can see that shelf is empty. I haven't done much in this room. I've cleaned out. I had, since this room is so tiny, I've had, uh, there was an extra closet, like a very small closet with shelves in the hallway. So I used that, but I cleaned that out. And I took most of the stuff that I had in the bathroom um, that I wasn't in, a, it's not, I didn't need to use that stuff. Um, if it's there, I'll use it. If it's not there, it's not really a big deal kind of things. Uh, so I'm just moving very slowly. And we don't, like, we're not going to move be right away just because there's no air conditioner in the apartment. And it's summertime and it's just, it moving is rough on your body to begin with. And then to move into, like, a, when it's really hot, it's just, we're not going to do that to ourselves. And we're very lucky that we don't have to rush. Okay, so foundation I'm just going I'm still trying I want to finish this before I actually I don't want to bring this with me so this is still the foundation it's a mixture of the an Etude House BB cream and oh, am I filming okay good <laughs> I was like I thought for a second I was just talking to myself uh, and a Maybelline Maybelline Outlast the glowy one I think so I'm just gonna put that on with my finger and I almost dropped it on my black shirt okay and then I'll add more if I need to sometimes I end up putting too much because it's in that kind of like container and this is lighter for me I've mentioned that several times but I got a powder and I'm gonna bronze a little bit so it should be okay So we also might be going to Ikea tomorrow. I don't know if we have time to do it today. And uh, both of us have small cars, so it's kind of hard to go to Ikea if we're going to get big things. Like we want to get a kitchen, a dining room table. And it's so nice that we found an apartment that we don't have to, I mean, we're not, we don't want to stuff the apartment with stuff, but it's nice that it's big enough which hopefully you've seen that video uh, where I give you a tour of the empty apartment. Uh, it's big enough that we can kind of do what we like. Size wise anyway. I mean, we can't get like a monstrous couch or anything like that, but we don't want that anyway. We're kind of looking for a sectional. And we were thinking of getting a, a couch that has a pull out bed in case people want to come over, but I don't really like those types of couches. I feel like they're not as comfortable. If you guys have any recommendations, would love to hear them because this is the first time that either of us are technically moving. I mean, we're moving on our own, so you know, it's a little bit different. And then I'm gonna use oh, Old Faithful Concealer. It's the Revlon Age Defying Concealer. I'm just gonna put that under my eye. My skin has been doing really well, knock on cheap Ikea wood, or I don't even think it's wood, it's like plastic wood. Um, yeah, that, uh, I have been taking a medicine called doxycycline, I think, uh, for the, 
in April and Ju uh, April and May, and that really helped, like, I don't know, reset my skin, I feel like. So, I've never had the... I thought for a moment I would have to go on Accutane, like, several years back when my a adult acne really kicked in. Uh, but I didn't have to do that, and my skin has been on and off, uh, but dealing with acne, but whatever he, my dermatologist put me on, I, I'm not taking that medicine anymore. He just said it's like to, well, I consider it to, it was just to reset my skin. Okay, uh, next is the L'Oreal True Match Powder. Just This is just such a great powder, and if you have a bunch of lighter foundations and you're, you don't want to buy a darker one, you could just get a powder. Uh, and this one is in W6. I'm usually in this line, True Match line, I'm like W3, W4. So I thought I would go up a couple of shades. And I'm going to take my Echo Tools uh, Fluffy Brush. This is a great brush if you are if you are thinking about getting something like this. And sometimes I'll tap in, but most of the time I'm just so it kind of goes evenly all around my face. I just go, just brush it all over. And make sure to get into the hairline so it looks like just all the same color and where I have the problem of matching the color is like right around my lips because I don't want to get the brush hairs into uh, my lipstick or my lip gloss and definitely take it down the neck Okay, and then for bronzer, I've also been using another True Match powder. This is, I believe, the darkest one. I could be wrong. This is C8, and I just like this powder, and I figured, why don't I try the bronze? Why don't I try to, to use it for bronzer? So I'm just gonna take this is an up and up brush, the same brushes I probably use in every Get Ready with Me, and I just go. That was just. A totally weird face that I made. If you're looking for a, like just a brush that can do a lot of things, this could be your bronzer, your blush, and your highlight too. It's just a great brush and not expensive either. And then, uh, for blush, I'm going to use this Tarte uh, and Party. It was the birthday gift from Sephora. Okay. And for highlight, you know what? I could try if I could find it. Hold on, I'm gonna look for the uh, the couple of bron the couple of highlighters that I got from uh, Milani and Wet n Wild. Okay, so the two that I got recently was the Milani one. This one is zero one Afterglow, and then the one I'm gonna use today is the Wet n Wild. Precious Petal, which I've seen and I swatched it, and it's like just crazy. And I said I wasn't gonna do too much, but this might be putting it over the top. So I'm gonna use this is an e.l.f. brush from their new line, and I love uh, the couple of brushes that I've gotten from this line. So I'm not gonna go heavy, but you could definitely see the sheen there or the glow. down the nose and then I'll take with my finger Ooh, look at that okay so highlight it up my face for the most part is done I don't think there's anything anything else I have to do um, and my eyebrows I've been growing them out since I try to do that Korean brow which makes you supposedly it's like the brows that you have when you're younger uh, but didn't really work out, so I just been growing it out. I'm lucky that I've never, I mean, in high school, 
in high school, later on high school and college, I used to pluck if you see back, um, if I look back in pictures, but I've never really overdone it. Um, and I'm thankful that my brow, my brows are still growing because I know some people have overplugged and it's hard for them to grow back their hair. And I don't need much done. I just like to add a little bit of color because I feel like uh, my brows, while they're thick, sorry, there's a dog hair, of course. Um, while my brows are thick, they're not, they're kind of thin. Does that make, no, that doesn't make any sense. I have brows, but they're, I feel like there is not a lot of hair. I don't know. You guys know what I'm trying to say. So I just fill it in just a little bit and I'm using this little tiny brush that came with this elf eyebrow kit and I got the one in medium you would think I would need black but I have found that black is really too stark and wow that I really messed that eyebrow up Whew. amateur hour I really don't know what to do with my brows so Brows and, brows and bronzer are just two things that I, when I started getting into makeup, I was like, I don't need to do that in primer and everything. And it's just, I've come to see the, see the pros of using them, but it's still a struggle. And I definitely take a spoolie brush and just go through my brows so I don't look like I have just one line going through my face. Going through my brows. And then I will set that with a little bit of powder. That's why I like this kit so much because you could actually use these brushes. They're not bad at all. And I just go through. Okay. And then I don't think I'm gonna put on any eyeshadow. I just, I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on. I'm using my Sony Kashuk Eyelid Curler. And I'm hoping this will be done soon. It seems to be on the um, near the end, but it still keeps on going. So since my brow, my uh, eyelashes want to just stick straight down, I have learned that I should do one eye first and then do curl the other eye. very last step that I will do which I won't do on camera because sometimes I let my mascara dry um, and then because me I'm just a klutz I will like close my eyes and get mascara all on the bottom but I'm gonna I'm almost done with this NYX dewy finish spray and then that's it so let me just I'm gonna keep my hair up uh, my hair is growing slowly but surely so And then so I have been parting it down the middle and then I'll bring this part back just because if my hair is still like a weird length so if I push it this if I go if I do a side comb over uh, if I do I'm sorry if I do on the side the part uh, hair will come out and it's just annoying so I want it out of my face today and I get like a little bit of a bump here and then I just yeah nothing too fantastic um, I'm not gonna put lipstick on either just a little bit of gloss and that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and doing well please enjoy the rest of your summer because it's sure going by fast for me and I'll talk to you guys soon bye